More and more states back in the United States are saying no to Syrian refugees. 31 states are now opposing, refusing, or suspending the resettlement of Syrian refugees. And tomorrow, the House is expected to vote on a bill aimed at strengthening the oversight of Syrian and Iraqi refugees hoping to come to the United States. Joining me now from Capitol Hill, Illinois Democratic Congressman Luis Gutierrez, a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thank you for being with me. Pleasure to be with you, Jose. What did you learn from Tuesday's closed-door briefing from the FBI and Homeland Security? Well, first of all, Jose, let me just say that watching the horrific um, scene of murder and mayhem and terrorism as it struck in Paris, I understand why people would be fearful. Um, it's a normal, logical response. But I want to say to the American people that the armed forces of the United States um, the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, people in our intelligence community, these are patriots. These are people who love America, love them, and are safeguarding their safety like never before. We are taking unprecedented measures to keep you safe. I just want to put that in perspective so that people don't think that we're not taking the steps to keep them safe. Oh, we have tens of thousands of Americans that are out there doing it each and every day. Having said that, Jose, this terrorist that left Syria that may have been part of the murderous acts of terrorism in Paris didn't come through a uh, resettlement program, didn't come through, didn't, didn't leave a vetted place somewhere where there are refugees as the family that arrived in Chicago just yesterday. These people are vetted once, twice, three, four times. The kind of vetting to make sure. And you know, Jose, they're saying no one can come. Really, after the vetting that we're doing, after the kinds of enforcement and protections that we're putting in place, you're saying to me that a mom who has little daughters who are going to be put into slavery, that are being, that are being not only that, they're being starved to death and bombed by the Assad regime or put into slavery by ISIS, there's no place in America for those children, for that mother, for those weak people that, that need a place of refuge, I think there is a place in America for them. And Congressman, I mean, th these aren't, as you say, these aren't people that are leaving uh, a paradise. These are people who are leaving because they fear their own future will only include death. These are people who are leaving the country and the home that they love because they think they will die if they don't leave. But Congressman, how do you guarantee us that the people that do come into the United States and that are permitted to the United States will be vetted when they are leaving a place where there is no real structure and organization. And how do you know sure. that they're who they say they are? Sure, Jose. Number one, there are about 2,000 Syrians that have uh, resettled in the United States of America. About 2% of them are men. Uh, the rest are children. Uh, seniors, people that are, that, are, uh, that are in a very weak condition that have come to our country, children and moms without husbands. So let's understand who we're bringing, number one. Your question is excellent, Jose. So here's what I think. I think if the Republicans were saying and the governors were saying, hey, Luis, Congress, can you explain to us what you're doing to keep us safe as these refugees come to the United States of America? Are we doing other things to make sure uh, that the vetting system, that is to say that they're being screened adequately, I think that's a reasonable, rational response to what's going on. But to shut our borders down, I just want to make sure that the American public understands this has been in place for decades. They are screened once, twice, our homeland security officials. Do you really think an American patriot that works for the government of the United States that is going out and whose first concern is keeping America safe is going to let someone in this country. Look, there are no guarantees 100%. There just aren't. But you want to know something? I think last year you remember, and Republicans are pretty good at fear. Remember Ebola? Shut the borders down. Everybody felt in America when you turned the TV on that you were going to be the next victim of Ebola. They're good at bringing fear. We regret what we did during World War II when we didn't let the Jews in 
and they died in the Holocaust. We regret the internment of the Japanese out of fear. Let us not have a regrettable situation like that again, because you know what? It feeds into the ISIS. It says to ISIS, do the real, a real where you have governors and candidates for presidents, one American after another American saying, there is no room for Muslims. We fear you. You are dangerous people. You are unacceptable in America because you're not Christian. That's the wrong message to send to the world. And it's a message that feeds, that feeds in to this terrible, terrible idea that America isn't a loving and caring country. We are.